Okay, so for two years now I've been doing tumblers. It appears the hard way. I've been using an orbital sander to sand off brand new tumblers. I've been doing it by hand with sandpaper. I've been using other products like paint and varnish remover. Easy strip it's called. I've also used whoops, citrus strip. But now, the easiest way, and it's working. is Dawn Power Wash. So I'm going to show you how to get started quickly and easily with your tumbler making. When you first get a tumbler from the manufacturer, they have a coating on it. And this coating is to protect it from rusting. However, all your products, your water-based Wilson and Brown products, your Hyperion, your glitter, etc., your paints, it's not going to stick on well. It will eventually peel off. So you need to prep your tumbler first. And to know if it's prepped, if you look at this, if I run water under it, you see how the water feeds? That means that the coating is on and we cannot proceed as such. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our Dawn Power Wash. And I am just going to spray this. Okay, and I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes. So I'm going to let it just sit for five minutes for right now. Okay, I've literally only let it sit for about three minutes so far because as you can see, because it's standing upright, the uh, Dawn Power Wash is sliding off anyways. So I'm just going to see along with you at the same time to see. What I do like to do though is I will give it a bit of a sand with this 220 grit sandpaper. I'm not pressing hard. But when you put the Dawn Power Wash on, you're gonna, you might be left with like air bubble areas that don't get it done. So I want to make sure that the entire tumbler gets cleaned off. So, you know, go like so, do the bottom, and then we'll clean it off. Now I may be taking it one step too far, but I don't, that's all right with me. I'm just gonna wash it with Dawn soap just to make sure that any of the residue from the Dawn Power Wash is all wiped off. Okay, and we'll wash it off. Now we'll see if it passes the water test. Ready? You don't see any of that beating going on whatsoever. It's cheating right off the tumbler. Okay, so for comparison's sake, here's another brand new tumbler. You see how it beads? And then if it's prepped, it doesn't happen. Beading, cheating off. That's all there is to it. So we'll make sure that we dry this tumbler off completely because now that the coating is washed off, it can get rusted. So we're going to dry it off and then we will use the same tumbler to go towards our next steps. Okay, I've got my tumblers here. They have passed the water test. I have two because I'm going to show you how to use both of the um, Aurora primer base paint with one of the pigment colors. And I'm also going to show you how to use the three in one paint and show you what the difference is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, actually, first of all, I'm going to clean off my tumbler. Um, I want to make sure that there's no fingerprints, oily residue, dust that might trap any of the paint or stop the paint. Actually, I'm going to pull off these little pieces at the bottom as well. one. 
Okay. So we'll start off first of all with our Aurora primer base paint. I use a cup for mixing and I'm going to squeeze some into a cup here. Don't need too much. And then I'm going to use um, the red concentrated color pigment. You only need a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. And because I want to do um, a lighter pink, I'm just going to try to squeeze a little bit in there. I'd rather do little bits at a time and add to it if necessary. Get my little spoon to stir it. So you can see how just that very, very small amount I was actually almost made the exact pink I think that I want. The nice thing about the uh, pigment paints is that you can mix and match them together. You can make different levels of intensity by how much you add to the white. Um, because you are adding it to the white, you're going to end up with more of pastel colors, but there's a wide range of colors that you can achieve with all these pigments and the white primer paint is actually beautiful. I love all the choices that we have available to us. Okay, so now I'm just going to paint on the pink. Now, of course, for this demonstration, I'm using two light colored paints. So we will need to do two colors. But you'll also see a little bit goes a long way. Okay, just going to try to do long brush strokes. I need to do the bottom as well, but I'm going to leave it just so that I can set this up straight while I'm showing you. But you can see how well, yeah, I'm going to leave the bottom, but you can see how well we're already getting our first coat. So I'm going to let that dry for about 30 minutes. The paints take approximately 20 to 30 minutes. You want to take 30 minutes before you recoat to your next color. So I'll put a lid on this taking any chances I'm gonna wipe that pink off put my brush in water now I'm gonna use the Aurora 3-in-1 primer paint and sealer so I don't have to do any mixing for this at all so I'm going to give it just a little shake apply it with her brush and start painting it on again you're using long brush strokes and you can go all the way around your tumbler again it's a light color so we will need to apply two coats but it goes on so nice these are beautiful colors just go around to make sure I know it doesn't look like a whole lot right now, but this is where you're just gonna have to trust me. It's paint that we're working with. And when we put on our second coat, it's gonna be perfect. All right, so we're gonna let that dry. Now the, the Wilson Brown, the three and the one paints do come in 21 colors so far. So I've done up a tumbler with all 21 colors. And this is just the three and one paints. They go a long way, as you can see. Um, there's beautiful colors in here and then imagine if you started you can mix and match these to make even more colors you can use your pigment colors to make different intensities of red you can mix your pigments together with the white to make even more your possibilities are 100% endless and these paints go a long way so you are getting your money's worth all right so our paints have dried for 30 minutes actually so I'm going to put a second coat on so we'll do this one first I'm 
look at how nicely that covers. I absolutely love this color actually. I've put the um, middle part in here to put on the turner. And that's what I should have done the first time because it would have made it easier to paint the bottom. But it's not the end of the world. Okay, so we'll just make sure that we don't have any large amounts left anywhere. This time I'll paint the bottom. Okay. There we go. So I'm going to let that dry now. And I'll we'll do the second cup here now too. Okay, so this one here was using the little duck. So we'll go ahead and put some more on here. Helps if you open the paint, the lid all the way. Looks like we might need a third coat of this. Yeah, we will need definitely a third coat. That's all right, it's a pretty light color, so this time I'll paint the bottom. So we'll let that dry now as well. Okay, so we'll come back to this and we're gonna put a third coat on. This pink one right here, I'm not sure if a third coat is honestly necessary because I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with it yet, but just in case, I'm just going to add a third cup. And you can see that I'm really not having to apply much on it at all because it covered so nicely the third time. Okay, so it's completely covered. Just do the bottom and then we'll let that dry. Okay, and then we'll add a third coat to the blue as well. Okay, so the recoat time, just as a reminder, half an hour in between any of the Aurora paint colors, whether it's the primer mixed with a with the uh, pigment or whether it's the three in one, you're going to let them dry for 30 minutes in between coats. There we go. So I think that will do it and we'll let that dry. So those are our two tumblers that are fully coated. We will let them dry and then we will move on to do something else with them in another video. Thank you so much for watching.